this morning I'm trying to link together a loop in Mount Guther with uh, the Brookfield Three Fingers and uh, with plenty of climbing so yeah let's see how I go So once over and back on Mount Kutha, now the Mount Kutha back descent into the gap. Well, some of the roads have been resurfaced out here, it's awesome. It's Gold Creek Road, Brookfield, it's the first of the three fingers. Usually there are lots of potholes through here and the roads are quite quite rough normally. They've just been resurfaced and they are smooth as <laughs> can't believe it, it's been a uh, hot mix all the way to the car park. Amazing. Savages Road. The hot mix hasn't made it out this far because there's no walking trail at the end of it. It's just private property. So on to um, Upper Rookville now. So it's not all hills out here. There are some flat sections. So overall the, uh, the average gradient tends to be quite low. But there are some pretty sharp pinches out on each of these uh, three fingers. I like it because it's a, it's a combination and the road does generally tend upwards. So you're always gaining elevation, but it's these uh, false flats here. Good to catch your breath or hammer on if you're not a climber. That was good fun. Um, yeah, I managed to link up uh, Mount Kutha over and back, and then the Brookfield Three Fingers for a total of 90 k's, uh, 2,103 meters of elevation, three hours and 39 minutes and 57 seconds. Uh, it was pretty good.